Welcome once more to the Anime and Simulcast Discussion Podcast, Divergence Cast. I am one of your hosts, a shoujo manga artist who is basing all of his characters on the rest of the cast of this podcast. I'm joined by a handsome prince in a skirt, Alex. What's up? And the guy modeling the main heroine after, Stranger. Yeah. And joining us, and we are joined this week by one of uh, one of our friends, Radao, who is, I believe, joining us from Finland. Rock and roll, everybody. Hey, hey. all right. And with our introductions out of the way, uh, what? Well, I guess first of all, let's have Stranger start us off with the week, since I'm sure he loves to talk about a certain game he's been playing. Um, I don't even know which game that would be. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, yes. I'm sure. Oh! oh. <laughs> you see, you were trying yes. to block it out of your memory, but I yeah. won't let you. I've, I've already tried to I'll just completely forget about it, man. Why are you gonna bring it up? <laughs> Yes, I downloaded a game from Steam, and it is called Go Go Nippon, and it is like a tour of Japan, where you are taken around Japan with two beautiful sisters, and oh, oh my god, it is just like too, just too weeaboo even for me, and that's really saying something, <laughs> that is really saying something. <laughs> So, uh, what have, what else have you been uh, doing in your week, Stranger? I don't know. That just completely blocked out everything <laughs> else, man. Why are you trying to do this to me? It's just all a wash to you now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to have a marathon it for like 24 hours now. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. You'll never see me again. I'll be building myself a cocoon of Daki Macaros. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's see, me, not much outside of homework and a presentation and playing Warframe, so sadly I haven't actually been doing much. Uh, how about you, Rado? Well, yeah, I've, I've had a quite busy week, too, uh, mostly focusing on my having the studies, working on my thesis, and well, last week I saw Insomnium, my arch enemy, live. Back when they toured in Tampere, it, but also uh, insomnia what? Insom insomnium. Insomnia. And art, yeah, hmm. and arch enemy. Yeah, insomnium is freaking awesome. Yes, it is, <laughs> totally. And also, uh, and also, I did a couple of last weekend, and actually, right, pretty much right before this podcast, I did a couple of recorded a couple of covers, Teresa's okay. Home Garden Beyond and Korpiklainen's Evanpolka. Yeah. Uh, what it, did, did you say you were recording? Uh, what again? Covers. Har covers. Harmonica. Harmonica oh, har covers. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. So you do harmonica uh, covers? Yeah, I have my own account on YouTube. Cool. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll definitely link that in the uh, description for you. Yeah, oh, that would be nice. Thanks. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Anything else or? You never asked me how I was. Yeah, I was going to ask you after I said anything else. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, either way, I've just only been like reading yeah. lately. It's at least since the last show, the new Lightbringer book. Yeah. Well, uh, I, uh, if, is there anything else we want to talk about, or are we all depressingly don't have much doing? <laughs> well, I mean, I've been vo I've been avoiding playing The Witcher because I just have like very little interest in it anymore. Yeah. And I also started a uh, Deus Ex last night. Oh, but... the original or Human Revolution? Yeah, uh, original. Oh yeah, I love the original. I I also like uh, Human Revolution a lot, but the original I, did so many interesting stuff for its time. Like I did the training. Like, all, all I did last night was the training. But earlier I was playing the uh, start of the campaign, mm -hmm. and I'm already pretty like getting in, getting into yeah. it. Uh, so I'm, I'm more than likely I'm probably I think I'm gonna yeah. really enjoy the game. Yeah, the one thing I liked about it was how, uh, well, I'm not exactly lifelike, but how much the characters seem to look notice your decisions. 
uh, I think the point that usually is brought up the most is uh, when you get into that uh, one building, the main corporation, or not corporation, whatever it is, building, you, whatever their name is, something you in or something. Anyways, UNS. yeah. And basically, if you accidentally walk into, or accidentally walk into the women's restroom, uh, like the leader guy will comment on asking you not to do that anymore. I always found that stuff in it very fascinating. Though, eventually you do get a ridiculously overpowered sword, basically a lightsaber katana eventually, that is just ridiculously overpowered. I mean, I, I look forward to getting it, because, I mean... <laughs> Here's the thing, like stealth is never like I will I'll try to be stealthy yeah. in like those kind of games. Yeah, I, if I, I if I have to, the situation calls for it. I'll just go guns out anyway. Yeah, that that's so. the thing with the original Deus Ex is well, I I'm normally very much into stealth games like Thief and stuff, but hmm. yeah, I couldn't stealth at all in that game. I just went for combat all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I pretty much. Um, I, I just started the game and I'm doing the uh, Empire State Building part. Yeah. Or no, no, not the Empire State. The uh, Statue the, of Liberty yeah. part. And uh, for some for some reason, really early on, I lost like the charges that the that like prod that you get has. And so I just I'm just going around stabbing people now. Yeah. Something. Like I mean, I'm still technically doing stealthily, so what the hell doesn't matter? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Anything else we want to talk about in our weeks? No? Alright, uh, let's see. Let's get into simulcasts. So I guess since we already talked about Terror and Resonance last episode, uh, I guess we won't get into that. But uh, what did you guys think about the uh, Nova Key final? Finale? I liked it. Yeah. That was like some Nisekoi levels of trolling right there. Oh, yeah. I I couldn't decide if I wanted to laugh or just scream internally. Ah, uh, Nozakiku was it. Uh, what? Ah, uh, Nozakiku. No yeah, Nozakiku. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that one. It was yeah. It. yeah, it was pretty... Uh, actually, when I saw the ending of it, I was really... Conflicted and whether I, whether I actually wanted to see the second season because I thought that could it any could it actually any actually get anywhere from that yeah. in the end when it when they managed to make the, make the ending such a anti, both such anticlimactic and yeah. still so heartwarming anyway yeah I, yeah I get where you're coming from <laughs> another thing I liked about that episode was uh, how Nozaki thought Chio was sadistic when. She wanted him to eat the chocolate. <laughs> she wants me to eat him off the floor. Oh yeah. my goodness, that was priceless. Yeah. yeah, like the most disturbed expression on his face whenever she said that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm going to miss now. It's, it's already leaving a much bigger hole than Sekikun did like a couple of seasons ago. I can't really say I like feel the same way, but I think it's probably gonna be. That's probably gonna feel maybe you know this coming Sunday when I realize there's no episodes left. But like I said, I, I, I to me, you know, I'm not sure where in the manga the show left off at, 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 left off at. But I do think that the finale left things open for a second season. Yeah. So I, I, I look forward to seeing more. Yeah. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, it seems like the, the kind of status quo anime as it is, is there's plenty of yeah. high Yeah, I see. I see what you're uh, saying. It's uh, very. It's well. It's basically going to be more focused on the comedy, and so it's never really yeah. going to progress that much on the romance side. Mm. Which I, I, I like the series okay. for that, but yeah, it's kind of a conflict because. I really wanted to scream at Nosuke at that end. <laughs> like, yeah. I said that part did disappoint me, but like, when you think about it, it's in, yeah. it's, it's keeping with his character. So yeah, yeah. It's like of course he's gonna think of the fireworks show as just something he could do for his uh, manga. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, doesn't I mean you know doesn't mean like I was any less frustrated by it, but I'm okay with it really. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree with you. But and yeah. The, yeah, and then there, there was the scene where the where Sakura's character actually met, you actually saw some character growth here. In the first episode, so she was so almost de- devastated or confused, but now she was actually almost accepting it as it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. But she also kept basically saying that, well, well, that's no Saki, I, that, and that's exactly why I love her. It was, yeah. That was quite cute. Yeah. Well, uh, is there anything else we wish to talk about about Noza Kikun? Uh, my favorite of the summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. I'll definitely agree. Unless somehow Terran Resonance manages to po- pull a some, like a super incredible episode for its finale, it's. I'm definitely giving it to Noza Kikun for series of the season. Uh. I definitely agree, and maybe even like season uh, series of the year. Yeah. And that, you know, depending on, like I said, like uh, like you said, uh, whether or not Terran Resonance manages to you know have a good ending, yeah. and pretty much whether or not something's we get a surprise out of the fall. Yeah. That manages to blow that out of the water, but I don't know if that's going to happen or what. Yeah, uh, I I don't really see much potential just yet. But then again, I said that about this season, but. Who knows? Okay. Uh, I guess have have you watched the uh, the latest Barakamon? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh God, uh, Honda's mom. <laughs> the bar is hilarious. He's just trying to like relive. We're trying to re re. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, recreate pretty much recreate the yeah. experiences on the <laughs> island and it's just for my uh. His mom just has like the worst misunderstanding. He's like, oh, I have something like strange. I was like, what did that island do to him? <laughs> I love the soon dummy part when she was running away. Uh, uh, I also found it funny how when uh, the people on the island were talking to Honda and like you know saying you know we'll be waiting and everything. How the mon- uh, I can't remember her name, but the one manga chick. She's like <laughs> freaking out. She's like can't remain calm, and then she just like realizes she blew some opportunity to talk to him afterwards. Yeah. There was I think it was also post episode how they earlier earlier on this know, either not, either that was the episode before I can't remember what where they said they want to make Honda proud by doing their uh oh yeah the yeah that was yeah, this episode yeah. <laughs> and uh, the one girl gets silver and she's just like disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing I would say is uh, that part in the beginning where he's talking to the the one guy he basically the old guy he punched in the face yeah. at the beginning. It, yeah. I thought it was both managed to be both kind of of intense and uh, pretty funny at the same time. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, I agree. Like, I thought it was a uh, I don't know. It was a really pleasant episode. Yeah. I like, so actually thought it was pretty good, like character-wise for nose uh, for uh, there I go again for uh, <laughs> Honda. Yeah. So, like, I'm I'm really I'm really hoping that the finale is pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, anything about else about Barakamon? No, uh, nothing. All right. Uh, Sabagabu. So what were you oh, yes. the that was that was glorious final episode. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it me... went out the. It pretty much went out the only way it could go out. Oh, the, like I... and even that, and even and even Sabugabu, like, I'm I'm confident, like, depending on how much yeah. that co- the anime covers of the available manga or the available chapters in the manga, that seems like a show that could potentially come back. Yeah, like I said, it, to me, it went out. Yeah, and only the most fitting way, and it's like pretty much oh. sort of like an action movie. Yeah, I oh. I guess it was pretty fitting, but I kind of wish they added more humor in the uh, more action movie parts. But otherwise, yeah, it completely fit the series in just absurdity and uh, very questionable. Uh, see the last part of the episode. 
<laughs> actually, it's funny because I actually agree with. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys read any of uh, Anime News Network's reviews, of some of the simulcast episodes, but I agree with what they said that you know the entire series Momoka has just done like every. It's like so much bad stuff, and some of the times, you know, she benefits somehow in the end. But the moment she tries to do something good, it just like backfires like much like terribly on her. Yeah. It was hilarious. I, like I wasn't sure what to think of that part when I first saw it because I thought it was, sort of, that was a weird part to end the series at for now, or you know, yeah. I don't know. But like the more I think about it, it's like only it's only fitting. Yeah, that, you know, one of the most colossal bitches to come out and then get a character and then like any anime I watched the moment she actually tries to do something nice it just turns out horrible for her yeah uh, one thing yeah. I, I will say about Urara is mm-hmm. I just love the uh, how much um, uh, uh, levels of the her say you has because mm-hmm. she can she has she, she, really... she just goes like deep when she's like in pervert yeah. mode because it, it was pretty much like the same tones that she, uh, that she took when uh, the episode when Momoka disguised herself as a guy. Yeah. Or they all disguise like, and she's naked and uh, Momoka's naked in the bushes. How Urara just has like a free, pervert freak out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the her say can just go from really girly sounding to just super deep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, anything else? No, actually, oh, I actually yeah. also liked how uh, I can't remember uh, the rich lady. I can't remember her name. Uh, Mao. Yeah, how she pretty much just tells Mocha straight up, "You're a terrible person." Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like you know, it's just the truth is like right out there. It's like I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and the absurdity of uh, a crab piloting a helicopter at the flat with pirates. <laughs> uh, so. I just I actually yeah. just saw he was like on the wind the. Uh, the window. I didn't realize he was piloting it. Yeah, he, he was piloting it. <laughs> uh, anyway, oh, and it was nice to see every all the recurring yeah. characters back again. Yeah, I thought I thought it was hilarious how the one uh, idol became like a giant <laughs> for no yeah. reason. She just like you know, this is her and imagined like beast mode. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you stop to think about that giant gunfight. It's just like absurd because there's just a bunch of people imaginary gunfighting. Yeah. <laughs> And that's like all they're just like what like upwards of like 100 people just there uh, playing fake shootout yeah a full a full governmental a military and, group and that, all playing and that's what's even more ridiculous it's like they have they have a, a survival game branch it's like and they're all, they're all depressed except for that this one time when they actually get to do something <laughs> It's like I can actually go to home to my mother, or wife, or something, and being proud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, I have I uh, haven't actually watched the on uh, any uh further episodes of Himagoto or uh, Momo. So, uh, what else do you guys want to talk about in simulcasts? Uh, I don't think there is any. Like half one's ended already. Yeah. JoJo already on? Yeah, JoJo yeah, ended, ended like last week. Yeah, last week. Uh, huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Did any of you, Did any of you watch uh, Lokodol or the Sailor Moon? Uh, I, no. Unfortunately, oh. I haven't really. Watched well, I be <laughs> well, I I followed those. Yeah. What's yes. Lokodol about? Yeah. Uh, what, or let's see, uh, like how different would it is it? Because I've seen a little bit of the uh, original series from the '90s, but how does it uh, the new uh, one differ from it? Uh, well, it's uh, well, I, I all I all I've seen about of the original Sailor Moon is the nostalgia critics review, which was mm. which also would be. Uh. But but from what I've seen it. See, know about it. Uh, well, most of all, it, I did, it's quite up. It's actually quite obviously the new, the, the crystal anime is more streamlined. You know, the yeah. plot is even more coherent, and there's no even even if they still have time for all those transformation sequence filler. Yeah. But they still get. But 
well, the, I don't know, the more, the, the, well, there's no, no more 90s animation. Yeah. No. So, the, even though many, many have also criticized the new series for even still having pretty bland animation. Mm. Some some have argued that it's because of because it's a web series technically, mm. which is quite which is quite quite silly actually when you think about it. It's a fact. It's freaking Sailor Moon, you know, like the one of the biggest anime ever, and they give it a a, a web series. With, yeah. So it makes you wonder that. <laughs> and if so, I I actually started this out of curiosity, imagining if this could be like the Man of Steel for Sailor Moon. <laughs> 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 oh, that, that, that's. That's just perfect. Yeah, but yeah, but it it actually wasn't. It it it's, it is very. It actually is still is very old school. Keeps the very in a, in a way that you it's bit yeah it's bit updated the animation and stuff. But I thought that it's very it gives very much the very the old school magical girl warrior style. Doesn't cool. doesn't get any hard, as hardcore as Madoka or Nanona, Nanoha. But it's been it's been fun, yeah. and it's only like it only airs like twi- once per two weeks, so it does, it's not even that much of a burden. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, let's see. A- anything else in simulcast? Or let's see. How long has it been since you watched uh, Momokun? Uh, I think I I don't know if. If it's finished or not, so it's either two up or three episodes that I need to catch up on. Still uh, what about uh, what about what about Himagoto? Uh, I think I'm only behind like one or two Ooh, episodes. Okay, <laughs> that's a uh, check Twitter. I I just retweeted a picture a very weird. Looking dogs code, I think. Uh, I didn't retweet. Let's try now. So, what exactly are you doing? <laughs> Uh, it's just like this uncomfortable silence. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, check Twitter. There's um, a very weird-looking dog. I retweet. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> uh, check baby animals. It should be. Uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything yet. Well, I'll keep an eye out for it. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's get back on track. Uh, let's see. Uh, any other anime you've been watching this week? Or just in general, want to talk about? Well, I have. Well, I've tried to catch up with Steins Gate again. <laughs> I, I'm still stuck in the, uh, stuck in uh, episode to 14. Is what I should be watching right now, but <laughs> yeah, <Yes. laughs> uh, Stranger knows that I, I have been very, very bad at for keeping up with this. <laughs> so, so bad. It's been like a month and a half. I mean, at least it's not as bad. Uh, it's not as bad as a uh, Chris or Half Moon, uh, Half Moon Hobo. Some people might know him. Uh, didn't he start like two episodes but hasn't watched it since? Uh, so I can swear he started the show, but like he just like completely stopped after like two episodes. <laughs> yeah, but well, for the record, I still I'm I'm still intending to keep keep watching it yeah. in time. Okay. Sometime. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I mean, I did. I did start. Uh, what's it called? The Devil's Part Timer. Oh, nice. I mean, I haven't. I haven't watched it in a few days, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. And uh, I actually think the English dub so far, because I'm watching the English dub, is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. The the English dub is definitely pretty good. Uh, it's. I I've actually I watched it while it was being simulcast, and uh, the dub keeps up pretty well with the original and uh i will say uh the voice actress who plays um the the her- uh, the hero uh, uh she's, amelia yeah amelia uh, she she's uh, in the dub she's pretty good but i definitely prefer the sail 
Mm-hmm. But, uh, oh, wait, yeah. There is one character that I uh, don't think you'll get to until later in the series, but she has a very new voice actress who I thought did an excellent job with the character. Her character. Uh, let's see. And, of course, uh, wait, uh, Josh Grell, he does an awesome job as Satan. Yeah. And actually, did uh, I think they did a pretty good job with the Latin? Yeah. Too. Well, it's not Latin. It's actually a made-up oh, language. But, but, I was like, hmm, is that Latin? Sure, I'll just accept it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, but that, that, there's actually an interesting thing about that in that um, there are two different uh, made-up languages for both the uh, Japanese dub and the English dub. And hmm. they're, just, they're basically just completely made up and... Uh, can't remember who wrote it, but uh, I think it might have been the voice actress who did who voiced uh, Holo in Spice and Wolf. I can't remember for sure. Maybe I'm thinking of Okami from Okami Song. I don't know. But uh, so yeah, it's very interesting how they do that with uh, with a different language than uh, normal. Because uh, well, one of the things I actually liked about, uh, say, Fam the Silver Wing was how they outright actually had uh, characters completely voiced in Russian. Mm. So that was... I always find that interesting when they uh, mix in some different languages. And let's see. So, um... What are you... So, uh, let's see, you said you were just in the first episode of The Devil is a Part-Timer, or... I have watched three episodes Three so episodes? Yeah. yeah. So... I put it to the side a little bit because I was trying to finish up, uh, like like I said earlier, I was trying to finish up uh, uh, what was available with Magnadia. Yeah. But uh, probably after I watch Terra and Resonance on Thursday, I'll probably get back to the series. Cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to my plan to watch this too. Yeah. For what I heard, it got, it sounds quite interesting. Yeah, it's a pretty fun little series, and uh, uh, I definitely want it to get more seasons because yeah, it's a really really good ser- funny series and funny series. Yeah. Okay. And see, uh, me, like I said before, I have not been watching anything but simulcasts. And in fact, I'm probably going to have to start, since this week is basically going to be, well, basically most simulcasts are going to be ending, I'm definitely going to have to start uh, working on watching a couple stuff. Oh wait, I suppose I have caught up on Red vs. Blue, but otherwise, not much. Have you been watching much stranger or no? Cricket noises. Stranger. What the hell? What happened? What the hell happened? Ah, he's. I guess he's got some. He just posted a comment that he has. uh, Yeah. Got it. ASK. Okay. So did he get disconnected? No, he's, uh, he sounds like yeah. he had to do something. Uh, okay, let's talk shit about Stranger's Waifus. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, I forget which one. Well, actually, there's Clover from, uh, Clover from, uh, the VLR, uh, from the Zero Escape series. He's like, he was always, like, crazy over her. <laughs> you know, I'll do him a kindness and let you just be, <laughs> talk shit about his waifus. <laughs> <laughs> is well actually I haven't actually played you, you, Virtue's Last Escape so I guess I can't uh, actually Zero Escape it's uh, Zero, Zero Escape series Virtue's Last Reward is the second yeah. second game 999 is the first game you, I think you would enjoy them yeah I mean there's... I, I definitely need to get around to playing them but I haven't had time to play anything outside of Warframe like I said like admittedly though at the endings to both uh, both games especially the LR because it the if you get everything in the VLR ending, it's, like, very lengthy. It'll take you upwards of an hour to, like, go through everything, I guess, I would say. Is that, like I said, the endings can just really confuse me sometimes. I was able to understand the first game's ending more, but it took me a while to really understand everything yeah. about the second game. 
And it's also because I played the for, uh, second game first. Mm. Well, I suppose that... Okay. Oh, there he is. Right, yeah, he's back. Just suddenly start being super loud in my house. <laughs> my nephew is just crying on the top of his lungs, and my brother just start drumming, so I'm outside now. Uh, uh, well, let's see. Is there Has there, there been anything you've been watching, Stranger? Well, I've been watching Little Busters, and as expected, I love it since it's a key anime. Mm. They're the same ones who made Clan Ad and Angel Beats. Yeah. And then I also watched the first episode of Shingeki no Kyojin. Oh, the Attack on Titan? Yep, Adam made me watch it. <laughs> so, uh, how do you like it or Wait, not like it? Um, I think it's decent so far, but it seems like it's trying a little bit too hard to just be overly grimdark for no reason. Yeah. yeah like, what, about- um,. Last I saw, I thought uh, Centro and uh, who else? Will. Uh, Will were trying to get you to watch it. Yeah, that's all right yeah. so far, but. Yeah. But I, trying too hard. yeah, it's usually not until like the fifth or seventh episode when it's really whether you like it or not decision. Yeah, like I'm going to try it some more. Like, it ain't bad so far. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. yeah like, I liked what I watched, but that's sort of like, I'll agree with your point, JJ, that. After seven episodes, I didn't really have much of a desire to go back. And part of that is because I didn't like Aaron as a protagonist. Yeah. To me, he was just sort of irritating. Yeah, he isn't exactly the best protagonist, but I I like all the supporting cast, even if, well, most of them kind of bite it. Like I said, I just, I don't know, after seven episodes, I just didn't really feel compelled to go back to it. Yeah. I was like, I got got what I needed. It's, you know, pretty decent, but... Yeah. I was like, I could, I could do better with my time than watching this. Yeah, I can understand that. It's definitely... Mm, it's probably... If you're really into, like, wanting a not... Because Aaron... He, he's not the best character. I mean, he has his moments, but altogether all the supporting cast, <gasps> and especially the Season 2 supporting cast... Or not Season 2... The second half, when you're uh, that supporting cast, I'd say, well, actually, season two in general was actually a big leap in interesting, I think, I, or at least I think so. But, uh, yeah, where was I going with this? I, I think I just confused myself. <laughs> See, uh, it, anyways, it's it, I don't really think it would actually be... Alex's series, per se, because, yeah, characterization-wise, it's not the best. Well, except for some of the side characters, but overall. But it's uh, got some very, uh, well, dark moments and, uh, well, action-heavy, which is kind of why I like it. But, uh, yeah, in general, it's none of its parts are perfect, is what I'm trying to say. But together, they make a pretty enjoyable show. Okay. Uh, what were... uh, go ahead. Uh, we were talking about Attack on Titan. So, uh, huh. yeah. Uh, anybody okay. else want to comment on it? I, ha- I, haven't, I haven't seen it. Ah, okay. After what I heard it. It sounds pretty bit too hardcore for my taste. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Um, any other series we want to talk about? Can't think of any. Well, well oh. I did see that. Well, I actually did watch the pilot episode of Gotham. Gotham? Oh yeah, that's the uh, new. Uh, was it? Is it? Is it that basically like? Batman it's supposed to be. It's, or it's like a. Yeah. But for Batman, uh, it's it's like a Batman prequel, like a police series starring yeah. the James, James Gordon. And uh, entire, Bull, and, yeah, and Bullock, right? Harvey Bullock. Yeah, yeah. Set in you know, it's still like set in time, but it, right, the first episode like starts from the moment where Bruce Wayne's parents are killed. So mm-hmm. then Gordon and Bullock start investigating the murder. I call. Like, I'll continue. Continue. 
Ja yeah, from what I can, well, the first episode was pretty much just mostly introducing characters and such, but it so far it looks, looks pretty promising. Mm. I, li- I like quite a lot, lot those live, DC's live action TV series, mm. just like Arrow's, Arrow and such. So I, I had planned on watching, but I think I was doing something at the time. So but I did catch a little bit of it, and my brother and sister had watched it. And my brother was saying that he uh, really liked how Gotham is brought to life. He says he sort of feels that I think he said that's his favorite part of the episode that it sort of feels like Gotham in the series. The one thing he I think, I think the one thing he didn't really like is uh or I think one thing I sort of seen has been a criticism is how like you as you said they were trying to introduce all the characters. I saw like one of the complaints that I saw was that like cameos, like they're trying to get all the characters in, like, you know, the villains and whatnot. Yeah, it kinda Yeah, there was quite a lot of characters like and the very this that very T V drama thing that all everyone is like linked together. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean I I, I might watch it eventually, but like as it is, I sorta of, like I don't run time usually around the times that like a cable shows come on, I'm usually on the computer playing something, so Yeah. Yeah, I I I, 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 I I also watch it on stream. Yeah, basically. Well, I can do that too, but sometimes I'm just too lazy. And I, got... the problem is, like, I prefer watching, like, I prefer watching my stuff at night. And usually, you know, anymore, I really enjoy enjoy watching stuff like, you know, like my mobile, like uh, I have a Kindle Fire. So I just like lay down, and watch stuff, and it's sort of spoiled me where I don't really want to go on the computer and watch something, even though I'll watch, say, like Doctor Who through stream on like Saturdays. I guess it's just a matter of sucking it up and checking it out. Yeah, my problem is I tend to be terrible at keeping up with live action shows. And I usually don't put in the full hour investment in in uh, an hour long series. I can understand that. Yeah. I fo- I fo- yeah. Well, we even told the what top the top series I'm waiting for are the thirties of Arrow and the uh, Flash series that's coming to going to they're going to have shared continuity, so it's going to be interesting hmm. to see. Was there going to be an Aquaman series or something? Mm, that's actually something. I don't know about that. I mean, I heard, I, I, I've heard that they're planning to do a Teen Titans series. A live-action one? Wait, a live-action series? Yeah, live-action. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I Crap. heard about that. Crap. I mean, I know there was Aquaman uh, news, like, potential design, but I never really read it. Sorry yeah. about that upper, uh, uh, whatever that. Wh- yeah. Sorry about interruptions, <laughs> and hopefully you enjoyed that uh, intermission music. Uh, we are now back, and let's see. We were talking about live action comic series. Were we? The, the, this is live action TV show. Yeah, yeah. I they actually have like what I've heard. I, I keep following the emergency off some channel in the YouTube side. I have they actually they're actually coming like four shows this week, this mm. autumn fall. I mean, like the Sturdy Arrows season three, then Flash and Gotham, and then Constantine. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I remember that they were going to have a new Constantine series. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like. A, so yeah, even if. Even if simulcast, even even if the autumn I'm simulcast, they end up being un, well uninteresting. There, well, there's gonna be lots of TV to watch. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, anything else we want to talk about in shows? Mm-hmm. Not really. All right. Next up, news. And uh, the only news I have is uh, Hiro Yuki Imashi, uh, the director of Gurren Lagann and Kill La Kill, is apparently directing the new opening to season two of Black Dynamite. Dynamite, dynamite. <laughs> have you, have, have oh. either of you guys watched that movie? Yeah, I, er, no, I've watched the series. I, mean, I watched a couple of those series. But you guys have to watch the movie. It is so ridiculous. <laughs> it is like, well, I think one of the, my. Fa- Probably one of my favorite comedies. I, 
Yeah, I need to watch it again. Because <laughs> that's like the most... You know it's supposed to be parodying exploitation, right? Yeah. And some of the stuff they do in the movie is like the most utterly ridiculous thing. And it's like... One of the funny things is that... uh, It's supposed to be imitating like the quality. So like people will have like changes of clothes. Or they'll like, completely use like a different scene for something. And one of the scenes... uh. This one guy gets hit by the uh, boom mic, and he's, like, cursing at the guy who's, like, holding it. And, uh, it's, like, hilarious. it's pretty hilarious. And then, uh, there's this one yeah. part, there's this one part of the movie where, uh, Black Dynamite is with this one girl, that, or this one woman he likes. And there's this guy dressed as a donut, he's supposed to be promoting the shop. But then he starts shooting the donut. Using him as cover, and like uh, the, the lady asks, is like, how do you know he's a bad, bad guy? He's like, because donuts don't wear crocodile skin shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like one of the most utterly ridiculous yeah. movies. That's cause, kind of why I was laughing at it, w- that it, the fact that it was uh, uh, director of Gurren Logan and Kill a Kill. It, it only makes sense. Yeah, cause yeah, it just fits so perfectly from all the episodes of the series I've watched, and I, I definitely want to watch the movie now. Oh, you should look at it. Find, try to find it somewhere because yeah. it's worth watching. Because <laughs> it just sounds like it's on the same level of absurdity. Uh, just awesome, so- self-aware, stupidly absurdity. I remember watching the uh, Michael Jackson episode. I think it was the first oh, episode yeah, of the yeah, series. I, I, I thought it was hilarious. How like it just had like a bunch, an alien race is like just saying, uh, "What was it? What was it they were chanting?" Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, but it was like that one. Mama say, Mama say, Mama or something yeah. like that. It was like Mama say, Mama say, Mama kusa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for for the director of Kill a Kill and Guren Lagann to make the opening only seems fitting. Yeah. Because they're just they're just sort of even though it might be different countries like different people like completely different ma- people making the uh, stuff. Those two. That movie and those two shows just have that like great, utterly stupid, awesome yeah. combination going for them. Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. Like, like a cross-cultural match made in heaven. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If they could, if they could make it a series, that'd be awesome. But oh, yeah. That's whether that would fly. I don't know. Yeah. But Pro- uh, I'm certain the guy would like to make it, but yeah, who knows? Yeah. Then again, there's, I'm. Not sure how well it would cross over, cause uh, you ca- cause uh... <laughs> sorry once again for that other interruption, and hopefully you enjoyed more of that music we had for any interruptions. Uh, I'm sure it's preferable to actually listen to us talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we get views. I'm not even sure how much of those people actually listen to the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So w- did, were we just finishing up talking about Black Dynamite, or was there anything else we were wanting to talk about in either that or other news? No. Well, well, stranger, were you? News. Uh, what? I don't think there really is any news this week. Like I've been yeah. keeping up and yeah. been quiet. I haven't really seen much either. That was I'm not sure thing. if you were here. Uh, you might have gone away because you're trying to get away from your family. But were you, were you here when I asked uh, whether you watched Black Dynamite? Um, no, I have. Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, if you uh, did, you not hear the part about how uh, Hiro Yuki Imashi, the director of Gurren Lagann, Kill a Kill, is directing the. Uh, Opening to season two of Black Dynamite. Uh, no, but it's probably gonna be over the top. Anything? <laughs> yeah. And you. Dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> and it's funny. Anytime the, the character does something in the movie, it's just it just does that. Dynamite. Yeah. Dynamite. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that they did that a lot in the series as well. Yeah. Well, uh, if we have nothing to add in news, I guess we'll go straight to games or VNs we recommend. So, uh, let's see. 
Uh, is there anything you recommend, Stranger? I am going to recommend Hotline Miami, because I bought that game the other day, and it was really freaking fun. Yeah. Like, I've done beat the game, and I've already went back and started trying to get all the secret stuff. Just the um, gameplay on that, the music, the visuals, just everything is just spot on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you've, like, looked up the soundtracks, actually... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got mines with it. Yeah, I I also had uh, the soundtrack as well. um, What's your favorite song in the Uh, game? Let's see. uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's... Let me check my music. It was like... mm, What about you, Stranger? Do you have the soundtrack? Um, I do not. Oh, you need to get on that. (laughs) There are some... my, My favorite is Miami Disco. Yeah, I, and there's that uh, one other one that plays when uh you're in the hospital. I can't remember what that's called, but uh, hold on. Okay, let me see if I have it on this. Flatline. That's probably one of my favorite songs for this song. Yeah. The... I think, I think my favorite song was like Metro. Let me check. Where do I have it? Do I have a soundtrack on this computer or the other computer? Or did I have it on my completely other laptop? Uh, crap. Oh, well, just know that the soundtrack's really yeah. good. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucking good. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. How about you, Red Owl? Any games you recommend or VNs? Oh, I don't actually, I'd actually play for past video games nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> no VNs. Stranger has been trying to get me, you know, by Planetary and, and such. <laughs> but I... I don't think I have time for it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, yeah, well, vi- visual novels are really, really long, or at least the Jap- Japanese ones, the uh, more, yeah. the English, the American ones tend to be like a couple of, or the Western, I mean, tend to be yeah. shorter, but still, yeah, that's very long. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, is there any game you want to re- recommend, or...? Well, the last game I played, actually, was the... Was ba- Bastion. Ba- Bastion? Yeah. Yeah? That was like... And that was like a... Half a, mu- half a year ago. Six months ago. <laughs> over six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of a gamer nowadays. Yeah. But it was... But you, were yeah, playing, yeah. you were playing Crash Team Racing, weren't you? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's time. After the, uh, yeah, last week. Last week after the arch enemy gig, we we, we have a couple of friends who started having a bit more rounds of beer, and suddenly it, it was four in the, four uh, four at night, and we we were playing crash team racing. <laughs> or they were or they were playing. I was watching uh, watching along and just laughing along, and decided that I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I had to be, I had to be on campus like. Uh, 10, 10 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, good five, good five hours sleep. Yeah. Well, let's see. Me, I recommend uh, Analog, a hate story. Um, let's see. Well, it's a well, it is a Western visual novel, but it is probably the only uh, game that has well besides. Uh, Spec Ops The Line, it's probably the only game that has outright made me uncomfortable to play in a good way. Uh, Let's just say it has a lot of uncomfortable culture shock, and um, it delivers it in a lot of interesting ways. I, I will say, though, it's mechanically not the best, and there's this really horrible timed segment where you have to outright enter codes into like a mm, trying to think uh, well console a console and yeah it's you manually have to enter it and when it's being timed and you're not quite sure what to do and you have to figure it out it's not really the best and the two main AI companions aren't uh, they're all right and there are certain aspects about them that are enjoyable but 
one was too clingy and the other one was kind of misogynist against but uh other but just it makes it up for it so much with how uncomfortable it is just to see uh in how it delivers its story uh well right now it's actually i think i replaced one of my it's like either third or fourth in my top five right now so yeah i really really like it uh, let's see, how about you, Alex? Uh, I'll just continue my praise because I've I been keeping on playing the game since last so, since the last show. I'll just recommend Plants vs Zombies: Garden Warfare. Hmm. It's a fun multiplayer game, you know, pretty much with the third person, you know, third person uh, shooter, and it's just fun because it's just silly because it has pretty much the uh, Plants vs Zombies character uh, characters in it. And it's just sort of funny because you'll just be one of the characters, the pea shooter, will just like go around. He has like a super speed thing. It's like woohoo, woohoo, and it's just it's just a really fun game. Yeah. It's like one of the few one of the few like online multiplayer games I've like built up like a good tolerance for. Because normally I just normally I'm usually just staying away from those types of games, but I I've actually really enjoyed playing it. All right. Uh, is there any other games we wish to recommend, or should we move on to anime? All right. Oh, I recommend Gogo Nippon. It's an enlightening <laughs> look into the culture of Japan. <laughs> I thought. Totally, no, 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 I thought. Totally I thought. Say, to say, say Nippon. <laughs> no, I, I thought. No. I'm, totally, I'm totally gonna to aim for the pet tanker. It's <laughs> better. <laughs> Oh, why? Why? <laughs> why does this even exist? And why have I been playing it? <laughs> like, seriously, I was just playing it the other night and just a shame and regret was just setting in. Yeah. It's the yeah. inner the inner weeboo that compels you to. It's like I have to see this. The like power of weeboo sort of compels you, stranger. <laughs> it's like <Yeah>. cocaine. <laughs> oh it's bad, bad for you, but you can stop. Is there something you want to tell us right now? <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyhow, how about the anime? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. How about you start us off, Alex? Uh, I'll just recommend uh, Beck. Like I said, I finished that before, and uh, by the time I was done with that, I would definitely say it's probably one of my favorite shows. And, it's, and I would say it's also because the whole band nature, like having been, not any, not even a serious one, we were I was just sort of like a thing with friends. Having been in a band, I was able to identify with some of the stuff that goes on with it. Hmm. But I will say, like, uh, like I said, I recommend it to people who have either either dreamed of being in a band or have been in a band, because it, because I, I think you would be able to identify it, uh, identify with it. But I will say, if you don't have like a tolerance for like uh, Rage Against the Machine-ish type music mixed with like alternative, you probably won't like the you probably won't like the mu- the <clears throat> the band that the show's focused on. And that if you're also like more of an animation buff, like sometimes animation the show could be pretty rough. So and it, bear in mind it's also from like 2005 I want to think it is. But I really enjoyed it and probably one of my favorite shows. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna add that to my list too. Yeah. Let's yeah. see. How about you, Red Al? Well, what I recommend, I usually I would say here like automatically magical girl lyrical nanoha, but actually this time I, I thought now that we have this, the summer cast ended and all such. Me, I actually wanted to recommend this, one show I've been watching, through the spring and summer. AKA Baby Steps. That's that one tennis one, wasn't it? Yeah, I've been thinking about watching that. Yeah, I was. I I thought about watching it since I've actually played tennis, but uh, I uh, have you ever actually played tennis, Rado? Uh, uh, only only, and not really. (laughs) Yeah, but my one but one of my friends actually plays tennis, and he was like. He, he 
it's actually his baby step is currently currently yeah. his favorite favorite anime and manga uh, yeah. for now. I I might and check I, it I out. Start, yeah, I actually started out of curiosity after I yeah. was watching the I or uh, I mean my friend was always talking about Prince of Tennis that I should start watching it, but I was like, oh my god, there's like 200 episodes. I'm not I'm not gonna watch that. <laughs> yeah. But then so this one I start, baby step started. I started out of curiosity and yeah to my uh, to my complete surprise and delight it was very. It's very good anime. Yeah. Like the the tennis part is not played for, you know, that over the top shonen epicness, but it's very, but it's very down to earth and actually if very insightful. Like I've actually learned a lot about tennis, but just watching the anime. It's mm. funny because it, there there is a, like another short small series. I can't remember the name of it. But it's basically about a tennis club, but. Uh, it's all absurdity and it's very short episodes but it's basically like what happens if you put a regular size series in and put it in fast forward it's like it's like it's on cocaine or something <laughs> it, it, I think one of the main characters was if that's not gonna if that's not gonna get someone in the show tennis on cocaine <laughs> mm, I don't know what, what. <laughs> It's not even that up. much about tennis, and it's just absurd as hell. But what I saw nah. was pretty fun, though. I never got around to getting back to it. Sounds funny. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Baby steps is what is I thought. I thought that strangers. I thought strangers would be like expecting me to say magical girl to recover. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, uh, that was perfectly timed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I I, also, I I tend to recommend that all the time. Yeah. Well, well I I I kept pestering Stranger because he he dropped he dropped yeah. the third season for me. And. But yeah, but uh, yeah, that's all it. trouble. Uh, okay, there we are. All right, um, me, I recommend, since it's finally ended, a Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. Now, obviously, since... Applause. If... Yeah. I second that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, stranger. Anyways, uh, basically, if you've been listening to us talk about this show you oh, for the past couple of weeks, then you know kind of how we feel about it, but... Obviously, it's probably going to be one of the funniest, funniest shows of the year, unless something strange, unless something amazing comes out next fall. But uh, basically, it takes uh, your standard shoujo characters, gender bends them, and gives each character a wonderfully charming personality, and then you just watch them play off each other in increasingly funny ways. Altogether, okay. Uh, as I was saying, it's uh, yeah. Watch monthly girls know they keep on. It's just fun as hell. Okay, how about you, stranger? Since you're going in. And I am going to recommend pretty much anything by Key, like Little Busters, Angel Beats, Kiernan. Or I clean think Angel Beats and Clanad. Yeah, they're just like some of the best stories I've ever written, in my opinion. Agreed. They're the kinds of stuff. They're the kinds of series that like really make you feel for the characters and like get attached to them, mm. and then just drag your heart through the dust. Yeah. <laughs> and then stab it with a stake. And there's just like, especially there's just like this. Several episode part of After Story where you're just getting your muscles beat down just like one moment to the next. Yeah. Oh, no, don't remind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything else we wish to recommend in anime? Uh, that I can think of. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Divergence Cast. A uh, very special thank you to Radal for joining us this week. And, Thank you too. And uh, we'll actually we'll link his uh, harmonica cover YouTube's 
you, yeah, YouTube videos or yeah, I'll send you the link. Is YouTube, YouTube channel? YouTube channel. channel. Thank you. Yes, I'm new to this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so check those out as well. And uh, let's see. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, apologies about the interruptions, but they could not be helped. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And you can uh, follow us on Twitter or my anime list or other what, what else, whatever else we have up there. And, well, until next time. Bye. Later. Peace. I have...